Hello, YouTubers. Wanted to bring uh, what I would call a startup gotcha on the High Torque 6450. So we are plugged in, and as you can see, we have a green light here on the X axis DRO. So that means we're getting power. And the sequence that's highlighted uh, in the manual. And when I put the camera back on tripod, I'll show you those pages. And as promised in the manual on page 15, the startup sequence is essentially turn the power switch by pressing the green button. The control panel LED displays will illuminate, blah, blah, blah. Next page, you know, press the start button, the little round button up front on the panel. Nowhere uh, in these set of steps does it say, by the way, please note, if your machine doesn't turn on, double check on page 30, the electronically interlocked spindle lock, because this, uh, the design behind this particular mechanism is to make tool changes easier, faster, and safer. When engaged, the plunger automatically drops into the locking position. That's this down position, actually. I think it's upside down. It looks like that. Uh, facing downward and when it's in its normal position uh, it's locked into that that hole uh, actually I don't think you can see this uh, this is what it looks like uh, rotated down and then rotated in the hole and mine was slightly outside the hole I don't know why these pictures are upside down um, when engaged the plunger automatically drops a locking hole as the spindles rotate an electronic magnetic interlock disables power to the motor locking the spindle so that's on page 30. So if your high torque 6450 will not turn on or stay on, double check your uh, electronic spindle lock. And what, uh, what tripped me up here a little bit. So very similar to the Viver mini lathe, when you don't have power, the buttons don't click. There's no tactile feel to the buttons. But we have power because we're plugged in. So why don't we have power? So in the manual it says you push the green button to power on the unit and then you'll see everything kind of light up. So that wasn't happening. But if I hold the power in, you can watch the... See how everything lights up? Like it's supposed to? But watch what happens when I... Sounds like, what the fu? What the fuck? So something wasn't right. And I was thinking, no, maybe it's a DRO. I have to attach a DRO, blah, blah, blah. So ultimately, and from a visual inspection, things looked okay. But they weren't okay. And it comes down to this uh, electronic spindle lock. So when you engage this by rotating it down so the stem would be down... It locks out the power so you can't accidentally turn on the system. But if you notice, and I'll move this just a little bit. Did you hear that click? Well, that click made all the difference in the world because now, hopefully you heard that click and you can see that light up. So, we are golden. And then you can power on and then you'll see this start to turn. But, as soon as we engage this just enough, that much. And this is what it looks like fully engaged. So, I missed this. I didn't catch the fact that it was 90%, 95% there. has to be fully locked in in order to get power. To get your click to see things light up okay just food for thought uh it, it was a showstopper for like uh an evening take care